Hello everyone, welcome. Isaac Segunro here. Now a few videos ago we created this very simple form and before we get started this video is very very basic. So if you are advanced please watch another one of my videos or somebody or go somewhere else. Um, I don't want to bore you. So anyway, so what I wanted to talk about in this video, uh, if you remember, we created this very simple form. All it is is just, do you love to travel? Yes, no. And then you can put in some values here. Um, but what I want to do is make this dynamic. But in order for us to make this dynamic, and when I say dynamic, meaning depending on what is selected here. So if I say, you know, by default, this should not appear. This should be, uh, this shouldn't be visible. So when they come in and they select yes, this should show. And if it's a no, it shouldn't show. So in order to understand how to do that, let's talk about a property and um, it's called the visible property and every element that you insert on a page, um, whether it's a button, label, text, whatever, any of these here, they all have the visible property. So let's look at the visible property for this box. So if I select it, you can see we go here and this is the visible property. We already have it selected. You can also get to the visible property and me select it again over here on the right hand side and you can see it's on. And if I turn it off, you see it's off. So this visible property, the value that it takes is a called a Boolean. So it can be true or false. So watch what happens when I change this to false. False. And as you can see, it disappears. Let me go back. Uh, as you can see, I can't select it anymore because it's gone. So what I can do is come down here and I have it selected here so I can come back up here and I can put in true and it appears. So what if we want to make this dynamic? Now remember the visible, the value that it takes is a Boolean, true or false. So how can we make this dynamic? So what I want to do is when the user changes this drop down to yes or no, it should make this appear. So the first thing we're going to do is by default, we're going to make this false. So we don't want it to be visible. So we're going to select the visible property and we're going to come here, change it from true to false. So as you can see, it is false. Now, nothing is happening as we make these selections. So let's go and fix that. Now, what we need to do is we need to select this checkbox, this uh, drop down box. So I'm going to click it twice so I can get the actual drop down. Right now, I have the whole card selected. So I'm going to click it again. And as you can see, um, it has these handles around the drop down box. On the right hand side, I have the name of the box because I need the name. So now what I want to do is I want to select the box that we want to, to be, to show hide. Um, so I'm going to come down here so I can select it. This is it. It's selected. You can't see, but it is selected. And I'm going to go to this visible property of that box. And I'm going to do, it's called the if statement. So basically, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you know, if it's cold outside, wear a jacket. If it's raining outside, get an umbrella. So same concept here. So what we're going to do here is if that data value card uh, drop down is equal to yes, if the value is equal to yes, then make it visible. If it's no, then make it um, not show. So if it's true, I mean, if it's yes, we want true. If it's no, we want false. So let's do that. So we're going to say if, and the great thing about this is it has what is called IntelliSense. So as you can see, IntelliSense, it shows you, it kind of guesses of what you want to select. 
So what I want to I'm going to paste in here the value that I had the name of that drop down box that I had copied earlier. So you do a dot and then what we want is selected. So meaning the value that is selected. So we're going to do a dot and then value. And this is just something you may need to just memorize. That's how it is with a drop down. That's how you get the value. Um, equal. And then we're going to say yes. So if it is yes, we want the value of this visible property to be true. So comma true. Else, meaning if it's false, I mean, if it's not, if it's a no, then false. So let's go over this. So if the data card value selected value, if it's equal to yes, make this visible property true else make it false. So let's go see what this looks like. So no, if I come here and I say, yes, there it is. Yes, it shows. No, it's gone. Yes, it shows. So that's how the visible property works. Now, I hope you understand that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it makes sense to you. Please leave your comments down below um, and please uh, like the video. Take care. Bye.